What's good YouTube? Welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today I have another video in our series of looking at some of the top potential prospects in this year's 2022 NBA Draft. Today's video is going to be our first guy who is not, you know, an incoming freshman uh, for this year's college season. Uh, he's going to be a sophomore at the University of Purdue or Purdue University uh, in Jaden Ivey. He had a really strong, you know, end to his freshman year, and there's a lot of, you know, excitement for him coming into his sophomore year. A lot of buzz, a lot of, you know, people speculating that he's gonna, you know, fly up draft boards uh, this upcoming season. And so, like I said, we're gonna take a look at his game, look at some of his strengths, some of his weaknesses, uh, and what to really expect from him, you know, this upcoming college season, and you know what he, you know, will look like, you know, heading into, I guess, the draft process. Uh, but more importantly, I want to hear what you guys have to say, so make sure you leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Let me know what you think of Jaden and his game. And with that being said, let's get into the video. So who is Jaden Ivey? And I'm going to be honest, you know, when I first saw his name at the top of some of these draft boards, or at least as, you know, a potential top five pick, I wasn't too familiar with his game or know a whole lot about him, but after you know looking him up, watching you know some tape on him, I can see why he's rising up draft boards because the dude is tough. Uh, he's a 6'4", kind of combo guard. Uh, during his freshman year at Purdue, the first half of the season, he kind of put up marginal numbers, nothing too crazy, nothing that screamed, you know, potential lottery pick someday. But the second half of the season, uh, the dude definitely balled out. And then in the one NCAA tournament game, you know, Purdue played, I believe he had a 30 ball. And so he really turned it on the second half of the season and showed a ton of potential. And some, you know, draft boards had him as you know a late first round pick and now you know after a summer of playing with the under 19 team usa team playing well there and showing a ton of potential uh, he's looking at being like i said a potential you know lottery pick and a potential top five you know type pick uh, he's kind of got that marcus smart type game where he's you know a really good defender someone who you can stick you know on the other team's you know best player and he can hold it down there and he shows some potential offensively, whether it's you know getting to the hoop and using his athleticism in that way, or being you know someone who right now isn't shooting the ball great, but you know shows that he has touch and you know looks like he has a shot that could be developed. And so, like I said, should have you know a really good season this year at Purdue. They should be one of the better teams you know in the NCAA. Uh, now, like I said, with that being said, let's look at some of his strengths and get more into that part of his game. So what are some of the strengths or things that Jaden Ivey does well that makes him, you know, one of the potential, you know, top players in this year's 2022 NBA draft? And I think the big thing with him is the defensive impact that he can make on a team and be, you know, the type of player who could be the best defensive player on your team. And someone like I, you know, mentioned earlier, you could stick on the other team's best guard and you can expect him to, you know, make life difficult for him and be, you know, an all NBA type defender. He's got long arms, he's 6'4", 220 pounds, long arms, quick hands, really pesky, uh, can move his feet well, and in today's NBA can switch, you know, one through three and be, you know, an effective defender at that level. Other things that, you know, scouts really like about his game and, you know, things that, you know, could make him, like I said, one of the top, you know, picks in this year's draft is kind of the upside he brings offensively. Uh, he's... A combo guard he's not someone who can necessarily be like a point guard on your team but he does flash some playmaking ability with the ball in his hands you know he can make you know the basic reads you know some you know more advanced reads out of pick and roll things of that nature uh, but he's not gonna be you know your true you know point guard or your your player that you're gonna have initiating the offense 24-7 uh, for you uh, but then with the ball in his hands like I said he can make plays for others he can get downhill he's super athletic uh, can finish around the rim he has great length and you know he knows how to utilize that length jump shot is a work in progress but you can see from these clips uh, his form isn't bad it's something that you can definitely build on and he shows some shooting potential and you know if he continues to develop you know I think like people expect him to uh, he should you know put up better numbers uh, shooting the ball than he did at Purdue this last year or in his freshman year 
And then I guess just overall, the big thing with Jaden is that he's a really gifted athlete. He's someone who's really athletic and he knows how to use this athleticism, you know, on both ends of the floor, like I touched on, can get to the hoop and finish at the hoop with, you know, length and athleticism. And then the big thing, obviously, defensively and where I think he could be at his best is using that athleticism and length to be, you know, like I said, one of the best defenders in the league. And so overall, a really good athlete. Uh, a plus defender, someone who could be, you know, potentially the best defender on your team and someone who shows, you know, a ton of upside offensively, whether, like I said, it's scoring with the ball in his hands and his ability to hopefully develop as someone who could be, you know, a catch and shoot, knockdown type guy. So the biggest weakness or thing that Jaden needs to work on is, you know, his shooting. He just wasn't a very good shooter in his freshman year at Purdue. And just overall, he wasn't very efficient from the floor offensively for Purdue this last year. 40% uh, from, you know, the field and I believe 26% from three. Uh, those are not good percentages and those are numbers that are, are going to have to get better uh, this next year at Purdue. Uh, lucky for him, you know, he's going to have a bigger, you know, role at Purdue. More is going to be expected of him and he has a chance to really improve those numbers. And you know, like I said, his shooting stroke looks decent. It's something that I think that should improve. Uh, but like I said, he's going to have to, you know, get those numbers uh, better if he truly wants to be, you know, a potential top five, at least lottery pick for sure. Another thing that, you know, it's kind of out of his control, but he is on kind of the smaller side for being, you know, a two guard. Uh, he's 6'4", 200 pounds, a little, you know, on the thin side and not the tallest for twos. I think he's going to have to put on a little bit of size if he truly wants to be someone who can, you know, guard that two and that three spot for sure. Uh, I think stronger players could give him, you know, some issues early in his career. And so that's something he's going to, you know, have to work on is, you know, adding a little bit of size to his frame. But overall, like I said, he's got good length. And I think, you know, his, you know, athleticism and quickness uh, should make up for that, you know, a decent amount. Overall, I think that Jaden is an intriguing player and someone to definitely keep an eye on this year in the college basketball world. I think he definitely has the tools and the ability to be, you know, a lottery pick, top 10, top 5 type guy. I think he's just going to have to, you know, put it all together, build on the momentum that he, you know, built on at the la end of last year and then this summer at the under 19s. A uh, ton of potential with him. He's just going to have to, you know, put it all together and, and put a good, you know, season together at Purdue. Like I said, they should be one of the better teams in the NCAA this year. And I, you know, expect him to have a good season and, you know, be, you know, a, a very, you know, intriguing prospect heading into the draft process. And so leave your thoughts down in the comment section below. Leave your thoughts on Jaden and his game. Make sure to hit the like and subscribe button and I'll talk to you guys later.